Okay, this is uh, BNSF uh, rail ties. They've been removed, and they're just left there. We all know the uh, hazards of rail ties, the amount of pollutants you find on rail ties. So what happens is when it rains, all that stuff is leaching into the ground. Are they going to dig up the ground to remove their contaminants? Or are they going to remove the ties and pretend that there are no contaminants there? That's what a lot of people are talking about. Big industry. Allowing to contaminate the environment. And the government does absolutely nothing about it. Makes you wonder if the government allows it to be. This over here is Burrard Inlet. I got a bunch of streams that run underneath here that, that empty out in the Burrard Inlet. What they're doing is actually polluting the ground water source. They're polluting the water. They're polluting the ground. And during the rain, it just runs right off into the street. And if you take a look at the yard, uh, a lot of this stuff is contaminated with oils. They go and they spray their oil back on there. You can see the oil there in the ground. They don't, they don't really pick up after themselves, but they're willing to fine rail riders for trespassing. So this is the deal. You guys are gonna start, you guys are gonna stop destroying the environment and I'm going to stop riding your rail. So until then, until you clean up your act, clean up the environment you destroyed, I'll keep riding freight trains. I am running for office of the Prime Minister. If I get elected, I am going to make a point of it. So, we're going to talk about subsoil sampling. What that's all about is I'm going to make contact with the Ministry of Environment. They're going to demand subsoil uh, samples. They can go all the way up to 120 feet. They might even issue fines for uh, willful placements of contaminants inside an environmental area. These all come with $250,000 $250, fines, all the way up to over $25 million in fines. They have another part of the yard behind me. I'm going to mention to the Ministry of Environment that it might eventually become an abandoned yard. So they themselves will have to produce, again, subsoil samples and environmental impact report. Next time you find somebody, make sure they don't have ties with the Ministry of Environment. Now, I've been very kind in my reports to Squamish Nation the Burrard Inlet, about your yards, your activities. Now I've got a new report to file. I'm going to want, and I need BNSF to present an environmental impact statement that will be mentioned in my report. And to think all this stuff over here, heavy contaminants. It's all the oils they place on the tracks, right, so they last longer. Well, that stuff leaches into the environment. And like all rail riders, I'm an environmentalist. I support my environment. You guys made millions of dollars in profit. You made a ton of cash by finding poor people like myself and other rail riders. So why don't you start investing your cash and cleaning up your uh, envir environmental damage? I've got videos of the New Westminster Yard where they have pollutants washing into a salmon stream. I'm going to make that public. So there you go. I recommend um, you leave rail riders alone. They are major polluters. I see those ties along the, along the rail lines all the time. They just leave them there. They're all full of contaminants. They save money because they don't have to dispose of them. 
So they dispose of them by leaving them there, leaving them there to leach away into our ground soil, into our drinking water. And it's sad because environmentalists, they don't do anything about it. It's really sad that environmentalists don't do anything about the amount of coal and the amount of toxins that come off freight trains. Rard Inlet Yard. There you go. I was going to wait for the traffic to go by. And you notice how beautiful the sky is since there's little traffic? I haven't seen the sky like that since, since I've last been in the mountains. And this is around the city, city of Vancouver. I'm on the First Avenue Bridge. And I got traffic walking around, people walk in. I got a beautiful home, don't I? There you go, I wish you could all be here. I wish you could all leave America and, and live in Canada. I'm gonna try my hardest when I run for office as a prime minister when I get elected to start migrating a, a lot of Americans into uh, Canada. I wanna work it out so maybe uh, Canada and America will merge into one nation again. I think that would be nice. Follow the Canadian law. Adapt to the Canadian medical uh, ways. It'd be good for all of you. You're freaking all rednecks. That's because there's too many people living there. Migration is good. It turned you into uh, less wing nuts. Plus, we don't really have methamphetamines and all that fucking garbage here. It would be good for you guys to be here. It'd be good for you guys to raise your children here. Regardless, I love you all. Much respect.